Well, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome back to my shop here finally. Uh, today I kind of wanted to do something uh, pretty fun. It's going to be a two-part video, but I wanted to show you guys what I just got uh, delivered yesterday. Uh, this is from Woodpeckers. Uh, it is a one-time tool that I ordered back, I think it was in October-ish time frame of last year. So this is the Rip Flip Fence System. Um, and basically it is a, uh, a fence, a, a fence stop for our table saws. So, you know, anyone that's in woodworking knows that we use, you know, flag stops, fence stops for our MFT. We use stops for our, uh, miter saw. We use stops all the time because they're really useful when you have to cut more than one cut of something. So you make sure that everything's the exact same length or width or whatever the case may be. If you use a stop, you can replicate that cut time and time again. The problem is with table saws is um, if you try to go rip or cross cut 15 pieces at, at 10 inches wide, you get those knocked out all at one time so you don't have to move that fence. And it never fails. If I do that, I, you know, if I go cut 10 pieces at the same width, I go start to assemble my cabinet or whatever I'm building and I make a wrong cross cut and I cut it too short. I'm like, oh man, now I gotta go back and cut another 10 inch strip, the exact same as all the other ones and my fence since then has moved. Well, you can get it pretty close, but you're never, normally you're never gonna get it exactly to that first 10 inch rip that you set your table saw fence to. So what this thing is, is you can set up stops for your fence, just like you can with an MFT table or your, your miter saw station, wherever you use stops at. And you know, if you're gonna go cut a bunch of two inch rails, you can preset one of your stops. If you're gonna knock out a hundred rails over the next two weeks for, for some cabinet frames, you can preset one of these stops, set it to two inches to your exact width that you want your, your rails or styles to be, you know, set it at two inches, then, then flip it down, get it out of the way. But you'll always have that particular stop set for your rails and styles if that's all you ever, if that's the only measurement you ever use. Anyway, I'll kind of go over that, some of the uses actually once I install it, because I want to make a video showing real time how long it takes to install this. No fast track, no time lapse. I kind of wanted to, to open this up for you guys, show you what comes in the box, and then do another video to show you real time, real world, how long it takes to install these things. So with that, let's get this thing open and see what it comes with. Um, now Woodpeckers makes these specifically for saw stop and Powermatic saws. And I just checked their website this morning and they're still available to order. Uh, the 36 inch saw stop, which is what I have, the 54 inch saw stop, I believe. These do not work on the, the job site type saws. These are only for the cabinet saws. So let's just see how they package this thing up. Really well. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got here, it looks like these are the rails that are gonna go underneath my front of my table saw that the stops are going to attach to. Got your directions. Let's get that out. And if, uh, Woodpeckers happens to see this. Thanks Vince M for packaging this so well. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, so in here we've got, again, these are gonna be the rails that are gonna mount underneath the front of my table saw. And we'll have to figure that out once we install it. But in here we've got Paper. Uh, again, I'm not sure what this is. It's an Allen key and some hardware, some grub screws. Assuming that's gonna be some type of fastening mechanism for the actual stops. A bag of 
brackets. Um, these are what's going to be used to actually attach these rails to the front of my saw. Um, now they claim that there's no modification needed at all to my saw stop. That these, that these brackets are going to utilize pre-existing holes. So we'll see how that goes. Because the last thing I want to do is go drill out a bunch of holes in my table saw, which that was my first concern when I saw this. I'm like, I don't want to go, you know, tear up my table saw. So it, they claim that you don't have to do any type of modifications. Okay, so there is one stop. There is another stop. So this particular kit comes with two stops. You can buy, of course, more of these. You can buy however many you want. But this is the stop mechanism that's going to slide. You've got your, 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 uh, what are these called? T, T bolts type thing. Um, these are what's going to slide into this aluminum extruded track, like so. You know, and th this is going to move up and down. And then your fence has, when you flip your fence lever down, it's going to butt up against this. Now you can do micro adjustments. Whatever it looks pretty, it looks pretty slick on the uh, on the woodpecker's website. Uh, here's a video, or a, not a video, but a picture of what this thing actually looks like installed on a saw stop. Uh, if I can do the editing right, hopefully I can. But this is what it's supposed to look like. But again, so my particular kit, we've got two of these stops. Get you a close up of that. Okay. Put those to the side and then you know I've got my bag of mounting hardware here and then my uh, my allen key and, and some type of hardware again th these grub screws look like they fit some you know somehow fit into these stops and we'll figure that out now the directions um, it's literally only one page so that's kind of a little bit scary but uh, we'll figure it out as we go so directions so with that, guys, that is just a, just the unboxing. Um, I'm, a, I'm thinking that the actual install video was going to be a little bit longer, so I didn't want to drag this out too, too long. But again, I wanted to show you guys real time how long it's going to take me to install these rails on the front of my saw stop and then get the, the, the stops attached to the, this extruded aluminum bar get everything dialed in and kind of walk you guys through how I plan on using it. You know, hopefully in theory, this sounds like it's going to be really useful. So I know there's been several times when I've ripped four or five, 10, 12, 14 inch strips of, of, you know, MD, even when I was building the sysport port behind me, um, I needed to go back and rip another length. And by the time I needed to go, you know, try to match up the 12 inch rips that I made, I have, I moved my fence since then. So, it was really hard to get exactly the same cut. And if I had this, when I would have started that project, I would have set one of these fences, I mean, I'm sorry, one of these stops to 12 inches. So I'm, I know that if I would have had to come back, you know, two or three days later and cut another piece that same width, I would have just had to flip this guy up and it would have been set already. So this is really useful if you wanna, if you, when you start your project, if you know the, the the dimensions that you have to cut, you can go ahead and set two of these stops up. So you know you're always you're going to have those as reference points if you ever have to come back a few days later and cut another length or the, another width the exact same width. Um, I hope that makes sense. I, th I think it might make, <clears throat> might make more sense once I install these and show you guys really how it works. But that's what this is for. Now again, you can you can buy multiple. You can buy th these are sold individually on Woodpecker's website. Um, and I'll leave a link. I'm not affiliated with Woodpeckers, but I'll leave a link to this particular one. Again, I believe you can still order it. It's not one of those things where one-time tools, you have to order it within a set time frame and then they shut it down. But I checked this morning and you could still order it, um, which is kind of odd for a one-time tool. But it's still on their website as of this morning, uh, April the 6th. So anyway, guys, that's just the unboxing of this new Rip Flip Fence System from Woodpeckers. Um, next video, I'm going to, I'm going to try to show you guys, I'm going to set the camera up right in front of my saw and I'm going to walk you through how I, how to install this. Hopefully I'm sure there'll be some trial and error, um, but we'll get it done and, uh, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense once it's all set up and you can see how it works. So with that guys, thanks for watching this little unboxing and, uh, we'll see you on the next video when this thing actually gets put into work. Thanks. Take care.